Hello there, YouTube. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Anyways, um, yeah, here's the next page after our previous video. A Link to the Past. Or Zelda 3. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on an, uh, this skin. Yeah, Daft Punk again. Um, yeah, these videos aren't, like, always separate. Like, several hours later, as you can figure, because I'm wearing the same shirt. Anyways, yeah, this is a link to the past. Basically, this tunic, the difference between these, like, that's your normal tunic. You uh, one sec, guys. I'm gonna put some headphones in here. Oh, crap. Sorry about that, guys. Um... Anyways, yeah, the difference between those tunics is that the green one, you t you can, like, if you get hit by a monster, you take you take normal damage for that. The blue one, like, 25% of the damage you take is not given. And with the red one, half the damage you take is not given. These are really, these are important, like, because especially if you're going up against Ganon. He'll deal out some serious damage if you kept that. I mean, like, serious, like, half your life. I mean, that's my guess, at least. And then we got the Pegasus boots, which make you go really fast. Fast as wind. That's kind of obvious, hence Pegasus. Anyways, the shovels for digging, duh. Flippers are for swimming, because you can't go in the water without dying. You'll drown. It's a sad thing that Link can't swim. And then bombs and super bomb. Super bomb basically is like bigger and can do more, like more damage. You really need this to get into Ganon's lair. At the uh, pyramid in the dark world, you'll blow up a hole in it and you enter. But make sure you don't, like, leave the super bomb, otherwise it's just going to blow up. Anyways, uh, yeah. Mirror, magic mirror sends you to the dark world. The moon pearl keeps you in your human form, because otherwise you're going to turn into a fluffy bunny. And that's really sad. But, <laughs> anyways, yeah, you need that. Um, boomeranging magical. Um, I forgot, like, the difference between those. I mean, I think one does go farther than the other, like the magical. And I think it also does some damage, too, or something like that. Anyways, um, yeah, then there's the bug catching net, which, if you have bottles, you can stuff a fairy in there. That's good. Then there's a hook shot, which is used for its all main purpose, to grapple, to either stun enemies, or... And in this game, it could kill certain enemies, I think, if I remember correctly. This was, like, a long time ago. And anyways, yeah, you can, like, grapple onto certain, um, item things in the screen and, like, fly your way across. Magic hammer used for these little mole-looking things and pound them into the ground so you can get out. And for a certain boss, I forgot which. You can do some good damage too. The lantern's like the first out of everything I remember. The lantern's your first weapon or item for lighting stuff in the dark. And yes, you will need this for Ganon because everything's gonna be dark and you won't be able to see him. So you're gonna need that. The cane of Brian or Byron, Byrona. This makes you invisible basically. And basically, you like if there's spikes everywhere, you can just walk right over them. Cane of Samaria makes this red brick. Which, if you put on this little question mark looking uh, block, it's a little floating platform that takes you places. You use it again, the brick will explode and shoot for, um, in all four corners laser beams. Okay, um, let's see. The fire and ice rod. They basically live up to their name. One shoots fire, one shoots ice. Duh. Anyways, um, yeah. And then the flute, or it really looks like an ocarina, but it's a flute in the game. Is used for teleportation. You can get like a bird and it'll carry you off somewhere. And it's really, really, really helpful. Okay, um, let's see. Magic cape turns you invisible. Kind of works like the staff of Byrona. And the magic powder, it can be used on anti fairies, with these little skull looking things with uh, flames around them. Turns them into fairies. And it's you and you can like light fires with it. Now there's normal arrows and silver arrows, which don't look any different with the graphics. But basically, the only difference is silver arrows are used to kill Ganon, and probably end up, and are much stronger. Then there's your book, duh. Book of Madra, oh Madora, my bad. Book of Madora. This translate the ancient highland in the game, so it's really really helpful and you really need it if you want to get these medallions. Which yeah, the ether medallion, the um, ether medallion. No, I'm pretty sure it's ether. Anyways, yeah. And that sends out this lightning bolt and can reveal hidden stuff like secret passageways and invisible things. The quake one, whenever I used it, I really don't know the main purpose. Except for making an earthquake and making certain monsters weaker or revealing hidden places. That's about all I know because that's all I use it for. Here's my favorite, the Bombos Medallion. That just, um, basically there's like this huge explosions everywhere on the screen. 
and can kill anything on the screen. Like if you have a, several Giddos or lick, lick, or like likes, just use the Bombas Medan. It's it's my favorite one. Okay. Um. Let's see what else. Yeah, about two more things. Power gloves and Titan's mitts. My favorite is a Titan mitts. Basically, this you can like pick up rocks. Um, and uh, that's about it. Now, black rocks and and um boulders. I don't. I think there's a few black ones, and with power gloves, I think you can pick up like light colored ones. Boulders with the power gloves. I'm not sure. I can't remember. But with the Titan's mitts, they basically can pick up heavier stuff like black rocks and bold and boulders and black rocks. Yeah. Sorry about. That. Anyways, to Link's Awakening, next game. Now, this one's an okay game, and I really don't mind it. It's a good part of the series, and it's really cool fe fe uh, featuring since the island you're on is basically all a dream. And sorry for spoiling that for any of you who haven't played it. Okay, there's level one and two power bracelets. One, basically, you can... This one, you can lift up heavier objects like uh, totem poles or whatever they are. Obelisks, I think is what they're called. And you can just pick up heavy stuff with that. Bombs, they do what they do. Uh, magic powder, yes, there are more anti fairies in here, and you use it on this one guy who became a raccoon by accident. Really helpful, and returns the force back to normal. The rocks feather, you could jump and jump over like uh, holes, which is uh, really, really helpful. Pegasus boots, you know, the main feature of those, run really fast. Okay, and hookshot. Hookshot basically does. All right, hookshot basically, um, yeah, it does what it normally does, like in the last game. Except for I don't think it kills enemies or stuns them. Looking glass. Uh, what I read is that it could, you can see invisible things, and really, I don't know the difference there, because I, I have it. It's been used, but I really can't tell the difference, because I can't like take it off and on. Anyways, and flippers, yes, again for swimming. Ocarina, you have like. Three songs I know of that you can play are really important in the game. Then there's bow and arrows, which do what they do. You basically you know you can shoot arrows and kill enemies. And then there's the shovel, which is important somewhere in the game, I think. And you could um then there's the magic rod. It basically shoots fire and melts the ice in certain temples, which is really important. Now, here's the thing. Um, the boomerang you can get like at the end of the game, which um, it's in a hidden area. Which Oh, yeah, now I remember. You can use a looking glass to find a little crack in the wall to blow it up with bombs. And uh, there's a moblin in there who wants to trade items. I suggest you trade the shovel because like at the end of the game, at that point, you won't need it anymore. This basically makes fighting the boss easier, who's like the shadow. He turns in a whole bunch of different stuff, including his, like a shadow form to gain him. In his final form, using the boomerang, if you hit him in the eye at least once with that thing, he's dead. So get that at the end of the game. Once you get that. And you can go online like Zelda Dungeon or just Zelda.com and look up walkthroughs on how to get this kind of stuff. I'm just showing you the items. And here we have, um, what's it called? Ocarina of Time. Oh my god, it's the first game. Yeah, first game I played, and I can't even remember its name. It's sad. Anyways, yeah, this is the first Zelda game I played. And, you know, at first I couldn't get through, like, the second dungeon. And I quit for, like, three years. Like, moved here to Columbia from Lexington. Three years later, I tried it, beat it later on, and started playing the rest of these games. However, my brother here, it, only, it took him, like, one try in the dungeon. He's better at Ocarina of Time than me. I destroyed the first boss within under 15 seconds. He's better than me at Ocarina Time. Except for the Force Temple, that's confusing. Alright, well, I'm going to leave off here and I'll show you um, the stuff in the next video.